Watch it guys and gals, welcome back to the Zoo Stars and Emulated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and I have another shit game time video for you to enjoy. Yes, that time of the week again and this has been requested by YouTuber Stefano Paracci. Hello mate, thank you very much for your request. I hope you're doing okay and I'll try and banish this into the vault of shitness as quickly as possible for you. Yes, uh, Gunsmoke, um, Capcom, Capcom game, I wouldn't say it was a classic, but it was certainly quite playable, rock hard, back in 1987, as you can probably see on that screen, and this was developed by Leiden and Associates, I've never heard of that bloody name at all whatsoever, I cannot find any of the poo grammars that programmed this, looked everywhere, but I cannot find any of them, so um, if you are out there, if you ever come to, across this video, or should I say, if any of you like to pass this video on to these so-called programmers or find out a bit more, then please comment below and let me know who they are, but in the meantime, big middle fingers up to you boys and congratulations, you've just made an episode of shit game time, um, and that's before me even playing this, because I know it's that fucking bad. So the screen you get is this to begin with. You get no music whatsoever on the title screen. It's just basic text. Choose what you want. So I've uh, selected music on. I should press the fire button, a little bit of loading. It's been loaded via SD card into my Commodore 64C original hardware, so it won't take long. Certainly not as long as the cassette. And this was sporting a, apparently a £9.99 price tag back in 1988. Oh my God, that must be close to 30 quid in today's money. Utterly disgraceful. Um, I said, I never really played the arcade game back in the day. I don't think I recall ever playing it, to be honest with you. It's not my type of game. It's like, I don't know, it's like Commando, really. Except for you're wearing a, a cowboy hat, cowboy boots and a Western type, you know, scenario with robbers and all this stuff. Like this, look, there you go, wanted Master Winchester, $10,000, yeah, whatever. Um, I mean, that don't look too bad. That's not bad, badly graphically done. I'll say that. Um, but it's another fucking US gold published game. Oh, man, it just never ends, does it? Well, this is a confusing thing. Obviously, US gold are the publisher, but there was obviously little companies working for them, wasn't it? Um, because you've got Teatex, gold, um, software creations. Uh, I think they did... Um, uh, ghouls and Ghosts for the Commodore 64. But look at it, look at this. I mean, I automatically fire diagonally, but to fire straight, I've actually got to, I got to fire myself. So diagonally, I don't have to press anything. I just press left and right. So look, left and right, it fires automatically. But to fire straight, I've got to, I've got to press the fire button myself. That's just weird. Why am I pressing the fire button all the time? Oh, and the colours, again, with the grey and the bloody reds and the browns and the yellows that look like mustard brown. It's just garbage, absolutely garbage. But it does keep one thing of the arcade classic. It's rock hard. So I can't... Yeah, I've got you that time. See, I'm shooting that shot straight through him, that's right. No, come on. See, I have to press the fire button to shoot them if I want to fire vertically. Oh, oh burn it. Oh, how do I get away with that? Oh, I'm going to get far. Yeah, am I? And this is too much. Yeah, you, you don't... You don't fire straight. You have to do that yourself. Whereas if you want to fire um, vertically... Then you press fire, but diagonally, it does it automatically. I mean, that's confusing. Oh, I got quite far then. And let me guess, straight back to the fucking beginning. Of course. Of course. One of my two pet ha uh, pet hatreds in games is, number one, puts you right back to the beginning of a stage, just like bloody, almost like Ghouls and Ghosts, even there is a few, couple of checkpoints in Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghosts and Goblins. 
but one of my biggest hates is having to start the level all over again after you've made such progress especially when the game's rock hard uh, um, game over well, there you go well I really got far nine pound fucking 99 unbelievable uh, come on let's start again yeah I, that, I said that's one of the things I hate can any of you guess what the second thing is I hate about uh, certain games? What my biggest pet, actually my biggest pet hate is, not so much being put back to the beginning level, which is a pet hate of mine, but what's an even bigger pet hate of mine? But any of you know, some of you must do, you follow this channel quite a lot, some of you. I'll count down to 10, or turn to 0 from 10, and see if you can guess what it is. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0.5, 0. It is games without an ending. The games that just loop over or say game over. Um, I can't stand it because you don't get any incentive to play it again. There's no goal. Even if it's just a picture with a bit of text. That'll do. It's a reward. Doesn't hurt. But no, games that loop over, it's like, what's the point? Unless you just want to score harvest. Um, anyway, yes, this game. If you can hear... It's got the most pathetic Weasley tune you can hear. It's so weak. This is the Sid chip, big bassy Sid chip that's come out with classics like Target Renegade soundtrack, mm -hmm. Last Ninja 2, um, Turbo Outrun. And this, you can barely hear it. It's similar to the volume in um, Trailblazer on the Commodore 64. If you load that up, it's got such a tinny soundtrack, no bass whatsoever. And this is very similar. Oh! That was lucky, actually. I don't know how I did that. What hit me? I didn't even see that. God. Who are you that programmed this pile of crud? Uh, come on, who's the poo grammars? You're too... You're too... Um, you've shown here too much lack of talent to be called a programmer. You're a poo grammar. Great, shot me in the back, you dirty bastard. Well, let's keep going. £9.99. £14.95 if you want to get it on disc. Not many favourable reviews of this game, so obviously certain magazines didn't take a backhander with this. Um, I haven't seen any good reviews of it. In fact, I think Zap only gave it 15%. Good for them. They're lucky to get that. Yeah, unbelievable it just it was a crime now I don't know if it's true I don't know if how how much Capcom ever gave US gold or whatever who programmed for them um, any decent information of their arcade uh, games they didn't share the code but I mean god you've only got to look at the arcade game yourself you don't need any codes or program or pictures or stuff all you need to do is take a look at the arcade game itself and you can see what it looks like or how it moves you get some idea. Mm -hmm. Stop you fuckers from bloody publishing shit conversions of our arcade fucking classics back in the day. You know, um, Strider, Street Fighter 1. Uh, it's just, just endless. I don't even want to bloody um, remember them. Utterly crud. And you bastards, US Gold, this is the joke. Please tell me they justify this. 1988 US Gold received the Golden Joystick Award. What a fucking sham that was. A Golden Joystick Award, 1988. You think back of the shit they were publishing in 1988. Uh, it's just shocking. I don't know how they can get a Golden Award. I would have had the decency to hand it back. I mean, US got an um, ocean coughed up some duds, but, uh, you know, back then they were, you know, I can still comfortably say that they were better mm -hmm. than Publish House and fucking US Gold. Utter crud. The colours are washed out on this. The yellow's again mustardy yellow. Looks like brown. It doesn't help it. It looks like it was programmed, designed to set place in the 70s because of all the orange and brown and mustard yellows. Mm -hmm. Horrible. I'm actually getting further this time. But the tune. There's just no the tune. Oh, I don't know how I got through that. See, that's the confusing thing. 
What the hell's that? <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? It looks like a bloody turkey ready to be put in the oven. That's walking off. I have no, <laughs> no idea what that was. You're telling me that's supposed to be a horse. I have no idea what that was. And this could be putting me right back to the beginning, isn't it? No! Wow. A little, uh, a little green tick for that. There is a check, but what the fuck is that, a bull? I have no idea what that was. <laughs> it looks like, I'm telling you, it looks like it's a turkey ready to be put in the oven, and then it quickly, it saw the oven and quickly darted off. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God. See, you can't, you want to shoot straight, you've got to shoot. It's confusing. Uh, oh, no, he's going to shoot me. Oh, yeah. oh, I've got him, lovely. Come on, shoot straight then. Oh dear, I've got these... Oh, you bastard. Oh, bloody hell. Come on. Uh, yes, it's not... Um, collision detection isn't exactly good, is it? Oh, for fuck's sake. Is that it? No, never life. Okay. Terrible, 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 terrible. <laughs> What that is, please tell me somebody, what is that supposed to be? Oh. Uh, and the other thing I will say is responsive. You can certainly move quickly and duck out of the way. This guy's going to kill me. I'm never going to get past this fucking guy, am I? Look at it. Oh, yeah, I can go around here. That's it. That's it. That's it. Shoot you as well. Come on, come here. That's it. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Good. I'm actually getting quite far, surprisingly. Yes, but um, it doesn't mean I enjoy this at all, because I'm not. It's crap. He's got a boomerang. That ain't fair. And he's coming out. How am I supposed to get out of that? Ugh. And it's... Oh, boy. Lousy check marks again. Typical, typical Capcom games. Oh, my God. That's supposed to be a bull, isn't it? Or some sort of... Some sort of horse. <laughs> It looks like it got caught in a serious suntan. Oh dear. See again, you can hear, I'm not pressing the fire button at all when I'm doing diagonals, but I, I have to press it before I want to fire straight. That's it, shoot, shoot, shoot. 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 No. Oh. Yes. Yes. Now there was another there was a guy that came over here, wasn't there? Pinned me in the corner. I'm trying to make sure I get you this time. Well he was over here anyway, he was somewhere here. I said, oh what's that shoe on? Does that do anything? Oh, what have I got? I'm on a horse. How about that? I'm either on a horse or I've got some serious flares going on here. <laughs> oh no, I'm not gonna, how am I gonna get oh I did get out of that. I don't know how I got out of that. I'm not, oh I've lost my horse. I don't know how I'm getting this far. I really don't know how I'm getting this far. Will you... I can't shoot these guys in the... Go away! Oh, am I on the boss? I'm on the boss! I'm on the boss! I can get the boss! Come on. Have I got... Oh, no! I was on the... God. Oh, here's one more chance. I got to the end of the level, boss. Oh, I did really well, then. Oh, try. Keep trying. Come on, get to that boss. Oh, you twat. No, oh, yeah, well, anyway. Um, oh, dear. Um, yeah, what can I say about this? Not a lot. It's absolutely crap as usual. Like I said, I can't find anything regarding the program, the poo grammars, I might add. All I know is what it says there. Copyright Capcom. It was as if Capcom have... I've got someone else to do it. They're completely bypassed. Go tier text and and um, I don't know US gold. There's enough about US gold there, but apparently it was created by Go. It's published by US gold. Apparently produced by Leiden Associates. Uh, and it's just, but I can't find any programmers, and I'm not surprised. They've probably been so shamed. They didn't want to put their names on it. Um, now, many games back then did have USA and UK versions, Europe versions. I remember Street Fighter 1 did. Um, I can't remember. There are a few other games back then that did, for some reason, had two versions. 
a Commodore 64 American version and a European version. I don't think Gunsmoke did. I think Akari Warriors might have. Um, uh, Akari 3, I think, only came out in America. I've actually did a shit game time of that on my channel, the Commodore 64. But this, it's just... Um, it shows, again, lack of talent. Awful. Just cough it out of shovelware and charge £9.99 for it. Kids would be so enthralled and thrilled to have their favourite arcade game at home on their whatever it is, their Commodore 64, their Spectrum, their Amiga, Amstrad, Atari ST, whatever it is you had back in the day. And they'd be pleased. Why not? And if they aren't pleased, tough tits. We got their money. That's all we care about. There was no fucking laws back then to put these bastards... You know, if I was judge and jury, which I'm going to be now anyway, if I was if I was a judge back then, a gaming judge, if there was such thing, I would have said, right, you've got two choices, boys or gals. Number one, you take this pile of shit, you go back to the drawing board and you reprogram it to a point where it is favourable to the arcade, where it is much more acceptable, even though it's on a much more limited machine, but it's acceptable. Or I find the living fuck out of you to the point you go bankrupt because it's disgraceful and, and, and reimburse the kids for coughing up such shit. So Stefano, yeah, nice pick, mate. Um, Gunsmoke for the Commodore 64. Well done, you poo grammars, wherever you are. Two big middle, middle fingers up to you for even thinking and of, of programming this shite and trying to sell it to the kids. This goes up to you. Congratulations, you have made shit game time. And um, yeah, take a bow, you bloody talent. So I, I hope you've I don't know, I hope you've gone on to better things because if this is your best, Jesus wept. So what am I going to give it on the shitometer? Um, tune is absolutely naff. You can hardly hear it. It sounds like it's a mile away. Pathetically tinny. Uh, Colours, again, the famous browns and mustard yellows and greys. Seen it all before. Uh, just horrible colours. Collision detection, naff. It does respond quite well, and the pictures of the bad guys behind bars or the guys you've got to get hold of, they're not too bad. But no title music here, as you can hear. Nothing whatsoever. It's, it's, it's not fun. You, I mean, it sounded like I was having fun then, but believe me, if I paid £9.99 on tape for this back in the day, I would feel so gutted. Absolutely gutted. Gutted. I mean, ten pounds still quite enough. Now I would, if I lost a ten out of my wallet, I'd still cry a tear. That's ten pound. But ten pound in nineteen eighty-eight, you're looking at twenty-seven, twenty-eight pound. Fucking disgraceful. So yeah, what am I going to give it? <sighs> Any other positives? No, I don't think so. So it's going to get a great big fat toilet blocking <laughs> ninety-three shit for Gunsmoke on the Commodore 64. And oh no, you're not getting out of it that easy, boys. I might have said it was a toilet blocking turd, but you are going down to the vault of shitness. So I'm just gonna get my toilet plunger, wedge that fucking fat piece of anal pus down the toilet, flush the lavatory, and there it goes, right down into the bloody sewage pipes, on its way through the already garbage, the pipes full of already filled full of ploppy poo games, straight into the void shitness. There you go. And goodbye, you ugly fucking douche milkshake. Nasty. Um, fuck you, pro, uh, poo grammars. 93% for 93 shit points on the shitometer for Gunsmack on the Commodore 64. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Right, that's me ranting and raving out of the way. That's another one. Victory for the kids that got screwed. If you would like to nominate a game you want to see put in the vault of shitness along with this crud, then please follow the thumbnail that will pop up shortly and uh, click that video link and listen very carefully what you need to do. And I will gladly do that for you. And of course, give you a shout out and your channel on that video. Don't be afraid to come forward. If you bought a game and you got conned, don't be ashamed. Bring your attention to me, name the game, follow instructions, and I'll do my best to put these poo grammars where they belong, behind bars. These douchebags should not be allowed to just wander off like the cowboy here into the sunset. They should be named and shamed, and that's my job. Okay, that's me this edition of Shit Game Time. Until next time, Zeus, coming out of Plopsville. <laughs>